In this lecture, let me try to create an ancestry chart or an ancestor tree. The difference between an ancestry chart and a normal family tree is that in the ancestry chart, we are displaying the details of the ancestors of an individual like this. As you could see here, I have specified the names like X, Dad, Mom, Dad's Dad, Dad's Mom, Mom's Dad and Mom's Mom. Instead of displaying just names, I am specifying X and details like dad or mom. Okay. By just seeing this ancestry chart, you could see that the ancestors of X are these. So we are displaying two levels of ancestors that is parents as well as grandparents. In all the family trees we have created so far, we have been displaying it in a top to bottom structure whereas in this ancestor tree we are going to display it in a bottom to top structure right so from x it is going upwards whereas in normal family trees it will be going from top to bottom so let's see how to create an ancestry chart using d3 to illustrate this i have already saved a web page added the title like ancestry chart and also added reference to the latest d3.js file now let us add the SVG and also the required data. So let me have the script section first. So first let me have the SVG element. So where SVG equals d3.selectBody.append SVG dot attr of width to be say 1000 and dot attr of height to be 500. Now we have the SVG element. Next, let me add the required data. So where data equals, let me add it inside an array, an array of objects. Okay, so I'm going to add first child and its value is X. You can give even names here. Then next is parent and its value is dad. Similarly, we need to have all the details. So let me copy this for mom mom's dad mom's mom dad's dad and dad's mom so this is x and dad then the next one is x and mom right then next child is dad and the parent is dad's dad then again the child is dad and the parent is dad's mom then the child is mom and here the parent is mom's dad fine then we have again mom and here it is mom's mom. So we have added six objects. The first one is child x parent dad. Again child x parent mom. Then child dad parent dad's dad. Child dad parent dad's mom. Then for mom it will be mom and mom's dad and mom and mom's mom. So here we have all the required details. But as you could see here these values are not unique right we have to use a stratify method and pass the id and parent id but we cannot find a unique value here also there is no root node so to have a root for all these let me have one more element with child null and parent x so this will act as the root node x should be the root node right so x will be acting as a root node and we are setting the child value to be null then while specifying the stratify method what we can do is that let me specify where data structure equals d3 dot stratify we are using the stratify method to convert this into hierarchical format so here when i specify i need to specify dot id to be function d return d dot parent this time actually we are not returning the child as the value to this id instead we are returning parent why because this should be acting as the root or the unique node so here we are passing the parent value as the id and for the parent id dot parent id what should we pass we should pass the child value that is the main difference we are having here 
Usually as ID we pass the child value and parent ID we pass the parent value. But as here there are two child elements with the same value and parents values are unique values. What we are doing for the ID that is a unique value we are passing the parent name and for the parent ID we are passing the child name. So as per our requirement we can make changes to the ID and parent ID values. Okay. So here function d return d dot child. Here I am not considering the name conflict case. If you want to make that as well you can specify child id and parent id. And here for id we need to pass the parent id. And for parent id we need to pass the child id. But I don't want to make things complex. So I am just specifying child and parent here without giving child id or parent id. Okay. Then what we need to do, we need to define the tree structure. So let me define where tree structure equals d3 dot tree dot size. Within this, let me specify 600 and 300 as the size of the tree. That is width and height. You can also use variable names here. That is tree width and tree height. And here also SVG width and SVG height. I am just specifying hard coded values here because our focus is to create an ancestry chart. Next what we need to do, we need to pass the data to the tree. So let me specify where information equals tree structure of data structure. Now suppose I try to console console.log information dot descendants and also console.log information dot links now let me save this and show you let me refresh we will not be able to see anything here because we haven't written the code to draw the rectangles text or the connections but let me go to more tools and developer tools okay it is giving an error uncaught type error i dot each before is not a function at line 27 so let me check line 27. This is line 27. We have specified tree structure of data structure. We have defined tree structure here. D3 dot tree dot size in square brackets width and height. That is correct. Then for the data we have passed child x dad mom null. Okay. Then here d3 dot stratify id parent okay i haven't passed the data to the data structure then only it will be converted into hierarchical format right so here i have missed to pass the data now let me save this and check the output yes so here we are seeing the descendants details right first we have specified the descendants detail so we are having seven values here you could see children two x dad and here x mom then for 1 it is x dad 2 x mom 3 dad and dad's dad 4 will be dad and dad's mom 5 mom and mom's dad 6 is mom and mom's mom then for the connections we could see that is for the links we could see the source and target source there will be two items the first one is connection between X and dad. Similarly, we could see all the links as well. So we are ready with the data. Now we need to draw the rectangles, write the text inside those rectangles and also draw the connections. 